So you want to learn how to dog fight? Well, I can give you some tips. Um, basically, I have just one rule. That is uh, never below and always above. That means that you are always above your enemy. And it also means that you will have more energy than him. And a very good advantage. Like you see now I'm approaching this uh, fucker D7. I'm not sure if he has spotted me yet. We have the same speed and um, altitude. But I'm behind him so that's obviously an advantage. Um, I'll not shoot at him yet. Now it starts to turn. It goes up. What you should do then, you should go up too. And you should be higher than him. And you see, as he flies down, he'll get more speed. But he's turning, so he'll also lose speed. So what you should do then is that you should not not turn as fast as him, but turn a bit less and keep your altitude and see what it's doing. And basically now it's just circling, trying to get away from you. So what you can do now, since you are so high above, you have a very good advantage, so you can dive a bit down. So you get some more speed. And you can turn a bit more, so you try to get behind him. And now we have a very good uh, shooting position. And you hit him, and you go back up. Don't be tempted to follow him down there, because he can easily outturn you. So just keep go up, go up again, and go down again. Keep shooting. And up. And be gentle on the stick. And now, basically he's a seeding duck. You can... Did you see? It's still dangerous. He can, he can uh, fly a bit down and he can easily uh, turn back uh, up towards you and shoot at you. So you should always try to make so that he can't get your, his nose at you. And you should also wait until he loses energy because he tries to climb. And you see when he loses his energy that's when he's basically falling a bit down or losing speed. So, um, I'm flying against AI and I, I tried to find some uh, players, but uh, there was just a few people online and they flew planes that weren't good to show in a dogfight, so I'll just show with this guy. So it, it just keeps turning, and as it keeps turning you can just, don't turn as fast as him as I said before, just turn a bit slower and gain some altitude. And uh, now we have a good position, so you can fly down get some speed and try to get behind him like this here now so get behind him and now we can shoot again keep your speed and fly up and get his wing, I think he's, yeah he's down so that's basically what I use as a dogfighting um, tactic because if you follow him down there and keeps pulling and pulling he can if he's a better pilot than you or he has less fuel or less ammo his plane is lighter he can easily outturn you so but luckily this uh, camel has a very good turn rate so if you're a good camel pilot you can easily outturn a uh, fucker d7 pilot but if you're up against the DR1, the triplane wings, then uh, you are a bit in a... then you're in a trouble. So let's maybe find another target. I don't know what's flying over there. Try to find some target around me. There's a D7 there... flying around somewhere. Should be him, I think. A bit far away, but you can try and catch up to him. Yeah. It's a bit far away. But we can still try.
And uh, remember, you need a to be a good dogfight online. You need a track VR headset or VR headset and uh, rudder pedals. Control the rudder like I do here now. I use this a lot when I aim at planes. Let's say it goes a bit to the left, I just hit my rudder a bit and my plane goes tilts to the left and I can shoot him. Uh, you can't do that with just a stick because then you would have to do like this and pull and then try to shoot. It's much slower and uh, not as responsive. So make sure you have a good joystick um, and uh, rudder pedals and track VR and also throttle controller for your throttle. Also in this game, remember to keep your mixture correct, so you see my RPMs, even you see it's uh, increasing and decreasing down there, so now I just I just adjust my mixture now. Oh, sorry about that, my track ER headset is a bit bogus today. Um, now... Yeah, now just now I've given the RPM on my engine for the mixture. And uh, yeah, I'll just let to see if I find him or is he now. Shouldn't be too far away. Let's find down again. Just spot him on the. There he is. Down there. Yeah, it's a fucker, we can engage him. Uh, now we try a different scenario. I'll try to be below him and let's see how I do that. down watch your rpm don't exceed 16 uh, the 16 number on the rpm that's 1600 rpms so yeah okay, now we're below him so what we can do now is that we have high speed so when we're blowing we can take advantage of a high speed pull slow up don't don't pull up too fast because then you lose your speed Pull up and try to shoot a bit at him. Ah, it's a bad, bad attempt. I lost my speed too quickly. Um, try again, down and get up. He has a spot at us yet. Um, still nothing. A trick you can also use if you're on the server, you can press the uh, enemy view and see if you hit him, like this. Ah, it looks like you hit him. I saw a few puffs there. Yeah, now he's spotted us, so he's flying towards us. So, what you should do now is pull away from him. Keep watching him, he's below us. Keep flying down, pull away from him. Try to maintain your speed. And... Uh, Try to get back up, up in him, and behind him. This is AI, so they're not so smart. But it's good to practice against AI if you're not good in this game. Because if you can easily shoot down an AI and don't have problem with it, then you should uh, go on to multiplayer. But if you still struggle with AI, then you should uh, not try in multiplayer because the people there are very good usually. So as you can see, I'm not pulling hard, I'm just keeping in my vision so I can gain on him. And now we have uh, now we have basically won the battle in a way. Because we're behind him. And you see how high speed on him, so when I keep close to him, I don't follow him, I just pull up. Because again, if you, if you keep following him, he can outturn you if he's a better pilot. So keep just pouncing and keep up, keep him below you where you want him, because now he has no way of getting more speed because he's too close to the ground. So you basically pin him down. And you can just keep doing this until it's uh, done. It will take a bit longer time, because you can't just stay behind him and shoot him all the time, but this way you will... You're basically controlling the fight. So, always remember that, have more energy, more speed than him higher altitude, then you control the fight. If this was a AI player, he would uh, turn the plane much harder, so it would be h harder to hit him. But it's especially important with this plane. If you meet a player online with this kind of plane, never follow him, because the DR-1 can easily outturn the camel, especially in a, if, if it's a good DR-1 pilot. So then you need to use this tactic always against them.
and try to predict where it's going and steer a bit before him and uh, shoot a bit ahead of him because uh, you know the bullet takes some time to reach the target so aim a bit ahead and I think yeah he's toast so uh, I'm not sure what more you can yeah I can show a trick how to turn pretty quickly if you're uh, flying let's say you're flying here and you see enemy behind you and he's a bit above you then the trick the trick the bad thing to do would be turn around this way because then it you take a too long time and you will lose all your speed but a quick way to do it and to gain altitude is just to pull on the stick like this you get up and you turn your plane like this here now you gained a lot of altitude and uh, you still haven't lost too much speed and you can still engage him so that's a pretty nice maneuver to trick your opponent and there's also another smart way let's say if an enemy comes towards you now you fly a bit up and he flies down to you and support you and you, you start to shoot a bit at, the, at each other then as he comes towards you you should turn your plane before he he reach you you turn and let's see he has a high speed so you turn and you get down and then you get up under behind him because he has so high speed that he can't he can't stop uh, his plane and he can't turn that fast because he because of his high speed and if he turns too quickly he will lose break his wings or lose all his uh, speed so that's a tactic I use I try to turn before they reach me like so after a few seconds they're behind me I'm oh, out of fuel now <laughs> so I can show you how to land without uh, any fuel. You just fly down here. Watch your speed. Your speed is uh, my speed is uh, 80 miles per hour now. It's not very fast. So around 70, 60 is a good. Around 60 miles per hour is a good speed to land your plane. Now it's 70. As you can see. it reaches 60 that's a good uh, landing speed so pull on your stick and as it's just keep it like this and your plane will automatically just go down to keep pulling pulling and touch down pull and use your rudder to control steer your plane and basically that's like how you land it's very easy to land a camel just just uh, keep your nose up when you're landing it don't keep it straight so yeah, I hope this uh, combat tutorial was useful and you got something out of it. If I forgot to mention something, just uh, ask me in the comment section below and I'll answer you. So yeah, see you in the next one.